Hi friends, welcome to our channel Tech Covenant. In this video, we are going to see the thing should know about audio transformer. This video is specially made for those making audio amplifiers at home. The highlights of the video are we can easily calculate the required amount of power for an amplifier and also we can calculate the output power of an transformer and with this video we can easily identify the proper contactor size for primary and secondary winding and the next one is we can easily calculate the core size for an transformer and the last one is very very interesting with a multimeter we can easily identify the primary and secondary winding of a transformer at first we can see the construction overview of transformer this consists of three major parts the first one is primary and secondary winding and the second one is core which will provides the flux linkage between the primary and secondary coil and the third one is insulation if the insulation fails the primary or secondary coil will get damaged to make it clear here i have taken two types of transformer the first one is standard type transformer and the next one is center adapter transformer these two type of transformer mainly used in audio amplifiers now i am showing the standard type transformer on the screen now it is a 0 to 12 volt transformer the primary side is represented with red and black wire on the secondary side is blue and blue for for experiment purpose i am just forget this sticker wrapped on the transformer that means i am going to take these two sides as unknown one i am considering red and black wire is side a and blue and blue wire is side b we have to verify the following things while purchasing a transformer from the market the first one is proper conductor size the current carrying capacity of primary and secondary coil will depends on the conductor size so it is very very important to choose a proper conductor size according to our current rating and the next thing is the stamping between the core should be very very tight and there should not be any gap between the adjacent cores this will leads the hissing effect or humming effect while we are turning on the amplifier the last thing is insulation it is very very important this will avoid the eddy current loss and hysteresis loss from the transformer usually the insulation will gives on a transformer in three different ways the first thing is the conductor of primary and secondary coil usually have a enamel coating which is known as insulation coating and the next insulation is provided by the insulation sheet wrapped over the bobbin on the third type of insulation is provided by a varnish so that means on a core we will pour some amount of varnish to give a insulation between the core stampings now you can see a standard type transformer on the screen so which consist of two terminal on the primary side and two terminal on the secondary side now you can see center type transformer on the screen which consist of two terminal on the primary side and three terminal on the secondary side so followed by you can see a black paper wrapped on the bobbin this is bobbin so this black color paper will give the insulation property on the next in the bottom you can see some of the glue uh, poured on the uh, surface that means it is not a glue it is an varnish basically step down transformer is used in audio amplifiers that means the input voltage is higher than the output voltage the applied voltage is directly proportional to the number of turns in the winding that means if the input voltage to the coil is higher then the number of turns of the coil will also higher let's look at the diagram on the screen here i have taken step down transformer when the number of turns are higher the total length of the winding will also higher we know the relationship between the resistance of the conductor and the total length of the conductor that means r directly proportional to l that means resistance is directly proportional with the length of the conductor so when the length is increases the resistance of the conductor also get increases with the combination we are going to identify the primary and secondary winding we all of us know that the primary winding has lengthy conductor compare with the secondary winding 
So we can conclude that the primary winding resistance is higher than the secondary winding. So with the ohms value, we can easily calculate the which side is primary and which side is secondary. That means which side shows the higher resistance value is primary side and which side shows the lower resistance value that is our secondary side. Here we are going to see the amount of power required for an RD amplifier. Example is STK414 amplifier which is stereo amplifier. You can see the details on the screen right now. The operating voltage of the transformer is 27 volt. The output of uh, left and right channel is 25 plus 25, totally 50 watts. So now we are going to calculate the amount of current required for the uh, uh, this uh, amplifier. So we know the formula for I is equal to P divided by V, that means power divided by voltage. The total power is from the data sheet it is 50 watts and the operating voltage is I am just taking it as instead of 27 I am taking it as 24, totally 2.08 amperes. 2.08 ampere is a theoretical value but in the market this value is not available so it, they have a fixed values of uh, ampere that means 500 milliamps 1 ampere 3 ampere and 5 ampere 10 ampere it goes on so we have to choose the nearest higher amount value so we can prefer 3 ampere transformer here which will be the suitable for this stk4141 amplifier here going to see how a transformer will supply the required amount of uh, power to an amplifier it's just a simple mathematic calculation so first we have to mind that what is the standard voltage of a amplifier this can be obtained according to the iz number from the data sheet i am just taking 24 volt transformer which will gives the 3 ampere current so we know the uh, power formula for transformer so power is equal to voltage into current that means V into I. So here the rated voltage is 24 volt and the current rating is 3 ampere. So totally this transformer can supply up to 72 watts. But we have chosen STK4141 amplifier which will which which requires only 60 watts. So totally the amount of power supplied by the transformer is higher than the amount of power required to the amplifier. The next session is how we can identify primary and secondary winding with the help of multimeter. To do this, I am just going to take the standard type transformer uh, for this experiment. So first, I am going to measure the resistance value of the uh, unknown side G. So that means red and black wire will be the unknown side G. The unknown side A shows the resistance value of 70.4 ohms. Next I am going to measuring the resistance value for the side B. It shows the resistance value of 2 ohms. So from the two side resistance value, we can conclude that the side A resistance value is greater than the side B value. We can say side A is primary and side B is secondary. So we have a conclusion here. The red and black wire shows the resistance value of 70.4 ohms and blue and blue uh, side of uh, winding shows the resistance value of 2 ohms. So we can say that side A red and black is primary and side B blue and blue is secondary. Now I am going to apply the same procedure for this center adapter transformer. So at first I am going to measure the resistance between the red and red wire. So it shows the resistance value of 77.2 ohms. Now move on to the side B that means white blue white which will give the 12 0 12 volt output supply. 
when i measuring the volt resistance value at the side b it shows 2 ohms here we have the conclusion for satellite adapter transformer the side a red and red wire will give the resistance value of 70.4 ohms and side b white blue white will gives the resistance value of 2 ohms here the resistance value of side a is greater than the resistance value of side b so we can say red and red is primary winding and white blue white will be the secondary winding next we are going to see the proper core selection and the proper conductor selection for specific current rating for 24024 5 ampere transformer usually they will use e and i type of number 17 core type for the same rating of amp current current that means 5 ampere they will choose 15 SWG. SWG is nothing but standard wire gauge. When we are purchasing a transformer from the market, with the help of SWG, we can easily identify whether the transformer will provide the required amount of current or not. Guys, thank you for watching. If you end up informative with this video please consider subscribing and uh, give your valuable feedback in the comment box below